Hi everybody, this is Polywork1, uh, just updating you and going to show you a new project. Um, but this is um, what is our one level or one room of our dollhouse, uh, completely unfinished. Um, so you can see kind of what it looks like before we start painting and putting uh, lighting and uh, flooring and uh, all the design work that's involved. So um, we're currently working on some more boxes. As you can see the, the mess we got going on in here. So um, this is another project that um, I just completed for the home theater room that we're doing. And this is going to be a backlit sign again. And if you can see it there, it glows up and says movies which is really cool and um, we have the American Girl concession stand and we're going to put this behind the concession stand so uh, I'm going to show you how I did this basically I went to um, Michaels and I bought this frame which is uh, six inches um, by or I'm sorry it's t ten inches I believe take that back <laughs> Um, I have a measuring tool here. I'm sorry, 12 inches <laughs> by 8 inches, it looks like. It's um, what's referred to as a um, CD frame. So um, I know I've seen it um, most of the, the local craft stores. So if you go to um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever, you'll be able to find these kind of frames. So I um, took out the front matting. And what I did was I bought some matting here, which you can have Michael's or Hobby Lobby cut about a piece, but I just figured it was a lot easier in case I made a mistake to just buy a flat mat board, uh, which was four bucks. The frame was five bucks, by the way. And um, so I cut it out and cut it to size. And then what I ended up doing was getting some graph paper. And the graph paper that I have I went and just carefully went down and put down the dots to write what I wanted to write down. I went to Michael's again. Uh, in the uh, Christmas section they had a um, bunch of like Department 56 stuff. Um, if you're familiar with some of the, the smaller Christmas time um, dollhouse type stuff. And they had these lights. Uh, they're called mini lights and so I know I had 50 lights to work with and technically only had 49 to work with because one of them had broken off so I bought those lights and they ran uh, 13 bucks so I got it at half off so um, when I got this step completed I took it and I measured it onto my map board I'll show you here. This is what my map board looks like. So I basically took um, masking tape and taped it onto the map board. Halfway in between, I measured it um, so that it was even on both sides and from top to bottom. And um, I took a drill bit that fit the lights, and I individually um, drilled each one of the holes in, and that was done pretty easily. And then I removed the template. I took some just flat latex ceiling paint that we've had laying around here and we've actually used for the dollhouse's ceiling. So I took some of that and I wrote um, movies and I did this after I did the holes and the only reason why I did this is um, because I figured that with so little amount of lights, I had bought another pack but I decided not to use it um, in case I want to use it for something else. But um, with so little amount of lights, I wasn't sure if you're going to be able to read it. Um, so I figured I might as well just write it down so that you could see it. And it brings it out a little bit better when it is lit up. 
Um, so it just makes it kind of pop a little bit more. So once all the holes were drilled and I did the paint, which pretty much dried like instantaneously, on the back part is where you have your transformer here and the cords. So I just took each one of the, um, sorry, it's again done on my iPhone so it may come out a little blurry. But I just pushed each one of the, the, light, the lights into the holes in the back and just connected them. And it doesn't have to look, you know, pretty because nobody's going to see that side. And that's when you get that. So I just put it back into the frame. Oops. And you want to use kind of a, a frame where you have these little push things on them versus the other project that I did, um, the backlit one with the... Um, uh, frame that was like a shadow box. You want to make sure that you have with with those kind of other ones. You don't have as much room as you do with these. You can have a little leeway um, with the lights because you want to make sure that you don't damage the lights that are on here. So that's the end of this project and I will update you on the room when we complete that. Hopefully we'll have that done by tomorrow and uh, you can see some more rooms to come. So please subscribe and if you have any other questions um, just leave them and I hope to answer them soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!